Okay, there are three types of shock. In this video, I will talk about hypovolemic and cardiogenic shock. In the next video, we'll talk about septic shock. First, there are four parameters. Cardiac output, total peripheral resistance, uh, lead ventricular and diastolic pressure, and finally, you will have mixed venous oxygen content. So for each parameter, you have to know whether it is decrease and increase and the exact mechanism behind that. In case of hypovolemic shock, the cardiac output will be decreased. In case of cardiogenic shock, also decrease, but both of them have different reason. So the cardiac output will decrease in case of hypovolemic shock because you will have decrease in a blood volume. You don't have a blood, so the blood volume in decrease. You don't have enough amount of the blood that come from the venous system to the ventricles to the atria and the ventricles as a result of this the pump activity of the heart will decrease because the preload decrease how about cardiogenic shock why in cardiogenic shock you have decrease in cardiac output because basically the contractile force the contractile force of the heart will be decreased so here the contractile force is the cause while here on the hypovolemic shock is uh, blood volume is decreased but keep in your mind both of them have decrease in cardiac output as a result of decrease in cardiac output both of them will will increase total peripheral resistance and this is reflex mechanism what what i mean by reflex i mean sympathetic effect will be will be stimulated adh will be stimulated and even angiotensin 2 will be stimulated so catecholamine is increased adh and angiotensin 2 and this is usually the common manifestation any patient which is hypotension any patient with hypotension reflex sympathetic activity will increase adh angiotensin 2 increase because try to instabilize the blood pressure in this patient as a result of this reflex mechanism total peripheral resistance will increase okay until now it's the same feature how about left ventricular and diastolic pressure because you do because you have decrease in a blood volume again because you have decrease in a blood volume so the pressure the pressure in the heart will be also decrease because you don't have a blood so this is the same reason decrease in blood volume as a result of decrease in blood volume the level, pressure of the heart uh, and pressure in the heart at the end of diastole because diastolic pressure will be decreased how about cardiogenic shock here is different because in cardiogenic shock left ventricular and diastolic pressure is increased why because of as a result of decreased contractile force here the blood volume now the blood volume in the heart in the heart will be what will be increased so the blood volume in the heart will be increased as a result of this as a result of an increasing pressure as a result of increasing volume in the heart this volume will increase the pressure itself in the heart and makes the heart more stretched so left ventricular and diastolic pressure at the end of this will be increased okay so this is the main the main the main difference between hypovolemic cardiogenic shock both of them have decreased me, me, uh, mixed venous oxygen contact content what i mean by mixed venous oxygen content okay mixed venous oxygen content is this here is the arterial system here is the arterial system whether um arterial and venous system and here is here is microcirculation so this is arterial system okay and this is venous and this is microcirculations when the oxygen here is the oxygen when the oxygen come here come from here to here from arterial to the venous system the here here you will have extraction of oxygen in arterial system so as a result of this oxygen content here in the arterial system will be high but when oxygen content comes from to the venous system now the oxygen will be low as a result of extraction okay this is i think it's easy what's the problem in case of hypovolemic and cardiogenic shock let's draw the same let's draw the same diagram again imagine this is the arterial this is the venous system this is microcirculations in case of hypovolemic and cardiogenic shock you will have you uh, you will have more extraction of oxygen so increase oxygen extraction so as a result of this this oxygen extraction is increased so increase extraction as a result of increasing in extraction the oxygen content now in the venous system will be much much less that's why the oxygen content is less in case of cardiogenic also in case of hypovolemic why you will have this is the question why you will have an increase in extraction of oxygen because both of them whether cardiogenic or hypovolemic both of them they have both of them they have decrease in the blood flow so once you will have decrement once you will have decrement in the blood flow you will have more time you will have more time to extract oxygen so 
we will have more time to extract oxygen as a result of more time to extract oxygen oxygen content in the venous system will be decreased that's why mixed venous oxygen content will be decreased in both cases again what is the reason the blood flow will decrease as a result of decreasing in the blood flow which is the which is the case of cardiogenic hypovolemic shock here now once the blood flow will decrease you will have more time you will have more time for extraction of oxygen the arterial system the end result the oxygen in the venous system will be decreased both of them mixed venous oxygen conduct will be decreased how about the clinical more one more topic the clinical feature patient here the patient here called okay and clammy skin means so called okay cold and the clammy skin this is when when you uh, when you examine the patient also the patient has suffered from hypotension so here uh, here you will have decrease sorry you will have decrease in the blood pressure in this, in this patient all and then um, decrease in blood pressure and don't forget there is a reflex tachycardia so the heart rate so the heart rate will increase blood pressure will decrease the heart rate will increase so four basic signs cold, clammy skin, this is one, sorry, and heart rate increase, blood pressure decrease.